in this Nagamu primary school with our gifts for the teachers. And then they have a hyena as their logo, as their mascot school symbol. The teacher at the end of our visitation. There's some teachers out in the field with kids. The girls in the skirts and the boys in the shorts over there. Barefoot. Your name? My name is Rumbisa. Rumbisa. Nice to meet you. Are you. What grade are you in? What grade are you in? Seven. Seven grade. Oh, thank you. Loud. Say loud. Juliana. Next, what is your name? My name is Menzele. And your name? And your last one, what is your name? Beatrice. Beatrice, okay. Now we can show everybody the movie. Dance. Now you can dance and sing for the camera. At the school. And the way we are going to do it, I'll hand you over to Anel. She's uh, one of the school teachers here. She's going to brief us about... We just had a cattle break away here. <laughs> Good morning. This is the first grade. Five and six year old kids. First grade class. These are my students. I meet for the girls and boys. Their age is ranging from. Let's greet our visitor. Good morning. Good morning. So this is a homestead. People live here. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a cultural morning, learning and discovery with my people so that you learn what we are. You see, even point. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. As my father said, my name is Busa. I'm the first born to Mr. Johnson. All right, these Welcome. are some of my children. Welcome. Right, uh, I think uh, I think the other family members are going to join us as time goes on. All right, thank you very much. Uh, everything, whatever they do, I'm the man in charge to see that the law is highly maintained. Whenever they have some disputes, they come to come to me, sit down, we settle those problems. But when a committee of about ten members, then we can decide whether they, you know, it, it is a serious case we can... Whereby everything was actually done there, but I think from my point of view, people decided that there wasn't any privacy yeah. at all while at least using those houses. That's why they decided to build structures like these ones. And coming to construction, all what is done there is the same with what is done here. Everything is same. We use the same grass, the same wood, and actually everything is the same. <laughs> A baboon with two babies, eh? Yeah. <laughs> That's lovely. Isn't 
Very nice. Very nice stuff. Beautiful work. Do you do the carving too? My husband is the one who do the carving. Yes. I do polishing. And the polishing? Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. He's the one who do the carving. So we've made a stop here to open the gate into the Hwangi Park. There's no guards here, but this is a guard post. And they have a, oh, this is where they do the foot and mouth control disease. They've got power lines. There's a power line grid following the railroad tracks. But very, only, only electricity for the school system, we were told. Oh, well, we got an elephant in the... Oh, there he goes. He's starting to move. He's coming out. He's splashing now. And back down. He's turning around. Did they like the hats? Turning around there. Is he coming out? Okay. He's splashing himself. There he goes. He's breathing with his trunk out of the water there. Wait, wait till he squirts. Yeah, they do. They do. This looks like a water waterfowl convention here. Waterfowl convention. And in the background are the hippos. That's funny. Yeah. Convention of hippos. We got some white-faced ducks, some heron in there, Egyptian geese. There is the sacred ibis with a black head. Oh yeah, black head. Sacred ibis from Egyptian days, huh? The Egyptians come down here. Walking like an Egyptian. You paid how much for this? Nice. Oh, listen to the hippos. Where are they? I'm in my room shooting these hornbills. I think that's a yellow just flew away. This is a yellow. It's a wire screen, a wire woven screen. Does a nice job. This is the Cory Cory Bustard. Bustard. What do they call him? Sure. Also known as the Horny Bastard. <laughs> I didn't say would. Yeah, that's true. I can't he imagine who said that. He is a beauty. It was an American lady. Yeah. You know, it looks like something out of the dinosaur age. This is the heaviest flying bird. Heaviest flying bird in Africa. In the world, I think. Isn't in the world. It? I'm not no. sure about that. What does he go, about 40 pounds? Ooh. 20 kilos? I think short of that. But 15. Mm. Hey, water book, check us out. Notice the one at the back or on the left is more mature than the one in front. Is that a male? They're both males, but okay. one is older than the other. Yeah. With the water buck females, not having horns, it's easy to identify. Oh, they don't have horns, okay. Buzzards? But that's quite a ugly name in a way. <laughs> and they, Round hornbills, capable of killing large snakes, wow. immature vervet monkeys, or juvenile vervet monkeys. And that's normally done by flying down, swooping. <laughs> I got it. He's, he's going for a horseback now How ride. well does your camera zoom in? Very well. Babies. Babies. Shh. Shh. Are we that close? Mm. Look at that. It's like a camel back so far. Yeah, he's taking a horsey ride. Giddy up, daddy. Thinks he's breastfeeding. He's hanging on her belly now. Him riding a stick in his mouth. 
He's still got the stick he's beating over the pew, pew. Come on, Mom. Hunts the same, looks the same, moves its neck the same. Same genes. This vehicle in front of us <laughs> usurped our space and Kevin is pissed. <laughs> he might take some action here. I'm not sure uh, what he's going to do when he's provoked. No. You have to be very quiet back there, ladies. <laughs> this wild animal might do something. What? No, there, there's a lion mating there. There's a male looking at us now. A little frustrated. That's possibly why they often open because they're little, they move. Look at that yawn.